Okay, good morning. Uh, we're up to Gimel on the on the days. We're in the middle. We're in the middle of of a, of a sugya. The Gemara had had a question about Tosefes Shmita. In other words, you're in the Shmita year. You're not able to do malacha, but there was a halacha that you could not go ahead and do it even be, before the Shmita year, because the what you're doing is enhancing the growth of the Shmita year. The question at large was when exactly was that and who went ahead and made that, that decree? So we saw that Beishel Beishameh said regarding an orchard, it would be starting up until Shavuos. Regarding a stelavan or a field of crops, wheat and such, would be up to Pesach. The Gemara asked, it's a lachor, a lachol Mosh Sinai, that one is permitted to go ahead and not permitted to go ahead and do malacha before, <clears throat> right? We, we, had, we said, uh, the halacha of Esenetios is 10 young trees. If you plant it within a shetach, a spread of land of 50 amis by 50 amis, that one would not be able to go ahead and, <clears throat> and uh, they would die the trees. They were young trees that were just planted that was necessary to go ahead and go, uh, be chorish between those trees. So the chur, why do you tell me it's a, it's a gezerah of Shammai and Hillel, and we uh, well, he added that Rabbi Gamliel got involved and was Mavatlat Gezer, which was problematic, right? It's a, it's a Allah HaMashmi Sinai. So the Gemara concluded that the Allah HaMashmi Sinai was up to, th- up to 30 days. They made a Gezer of Shammai and Hillel before 30 days, and mean up to sh- by an orchard Shvuas uh, and by a Stelav on a Pesach. Came Rabbi Gamliel and restored it to what? He restored it to that. Uh, to 30 days. So I think we're going to pick it up. We, we did this yesterday again. We'll pick it up. The, the question that you're saying it's Allah Chomash Mi Sinai, L'chur it's not. Let's start from Gimel Amit Beis. One, two, three, four, five lines from the bottom. Five lines from the bottom from Gimel Amit Beis. Fred Gemara, Bahani Hilchasaninu. You're telling me that Taisefest, the addition of not being able to plow before the Shemitah year is a Allah Chomash Mi Sinai. Kroninu, it's a Pasek. Now the pasuk at hand is is sheishes uh, yamim tavod or yamashvi tishbash. You should go ahead, work for six days and rest on the seventh. But chorus shavakasa tishbash. And then it says for planting for chorus tishbash, you should go ahead regarding uh, regarding plowing and cuts of tishbash. Now innately the pasuk itself was difficult. We said if it's speaking about working on Shabbos, then why do they go ahead and Kick out these two unique nikalachas, the halacha of plowing and the halacha of, 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 of harvesting. Everything's us as doing Shabbos, right? Everything's us doing Shabbos. Yet the beginning of the Pasmus, Masmus Shabbos, Dikadin. So we're going to have machloikis between Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Yishmael concerning what exactly the Pasuk is discussing. Loit Rabbi Akiva, it's discussing not Shemitah, it's discussing six days to seven days. It's discussing the sixth year going into the seventh year. That it's also to go ahead and do be, be plow in the sixth year into the seventh year. And that's the question on the halacha Mashmi Sinai. Apparently, it's a Pusik. The Rabbi Akiva's interpretation of the Pusik is that from the sixth year to the seventh year, that you can't go ahead and do the Avaidah. So, how can you tell me that what? That it's a din in the halacha Mashmi Sinai. That's going to be the Gemara's question. Rabbi Yishmael is going to interpret the Pasuk completely different. He's going to say it's not speaking about Shemitah at all. It's consistently speaking about Shabbos. What does it mean? So if it's speaking about Shabbos, why do you pick out those two unique halachos of, of, of Harisha and Ketzira? And he, he said that what is also on Shabbos? To do Harisha and Ketzira that has nothing to do with a mitzvah. That's a Rishus. In other words, you want to do it, you don't want to do it. What happens if it's Ketzira of a mitzvah, which is cutting of the Oimer? In that case, if it's Ketzir of a mitzvah, that will be permitted. Okay, so let's see it inside. It's not. The Chorish of a Kasa, Tishboys of a Kibaymer, ain't Sarah Lemon Chorish for Kasa Shel Shvius. You don't have to tell me it's speaking about the plowing and harvesting of a Shemitah year. Shreik Farnemar, it says in another passage in Pashas Bahar, Sotchale Sizor, Bacham of Alay Sizmar. You should not go ahead and, and, and see, sow your, your field, nor prune your vineyard. What is it speaking about? The sixth year going into the seventh year. It's speaking about Chirisha of what? Of Erishvias, Shinichlus the Shvias, the Katsir Shal Shvias, Shiyatzel the Mitzvah Shvias. 
And let's say it grows at the end of the Shemitah year, you can't cut it for the next year. Bottom line is, that's the, we're going to continue to rise in a second, but this is the Kasha. How can you say it's Allah Chalmai Shemit Sinai? Like Rabbi Akiva, you see it's a passing in the Torah, Rabbi Chalmai Shemit Sinai. Rabbi Shemal says, no, it's not speaking about Shemitah at all, it's speaking about Shabbos. Machorish Rishus, Av Katz Rishus, Yotza Katsir Oymer, this would exclude the cutting of the Oymer Shari Mitzvah, the Mitzvah to go ahead and cut the barley to be born on Tesla and Nisan to Mata the Chadash in the Beis Amigdash, in the, in the Medina. So therefore, Kasha, right now, question mark. How can you say it's a Lachal Meshmi Sinai? Apparently, what it is a, a Pasik. El Omer of Nachman by Yitzchak with Don Dalin Omer Aleph, four lines down. El Omer of Nachman by Yitzchak, Ki Gemiri Hilchasa, where do we learn that Lachal Meshmi Sinai? Le Mishre Yolda. That's to go ahead and permit the Harisha of the 10 young trees as described in the Halacha Meshmi Sinai. Esenetios, Arava, and Nisa Chamayim all were learned in conjunction together. Therefore, they're always lumped together. And therefore, that's what the Lacham Shashina was about. But Kroy, the Pasik, is Lamesa, the Zakena, to Asa, the Asa, the Harisha of ex- all the trees. When, it, so now it's the two different dinim. You have young trees. The Lacham Shashina is not coming to say something's Asa. It's coming to say something's Muta. And the Pasik is coming to say something's Asa. What's mutter? The trees that would be in trouble, the young trees that haven't been established yet, if you do not go ahead and, and plow around them in the, before the Shemitah year, they're in, in danger of dying. That's what Allah HaMashmi Sinai, it permits plowing. And the Pasuk says, no, you can't plow in older existing trees. Fred Gamor, an obvious question. Right. Zekena of the Kivan de Hilchasa and Mishrei, Yolda, if you need a halach l'mosh b'sinai to say that a young tree is muttered a plant, lav, can we not infer memela that's a kena asira? You're telling me you needed two denim, one to matter a, a young and a, 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 a pasik to, to, mat, to say an old is asir. If you needed a halach to matter, it must be, it's asir. <laughs> or else you wouldn't need a heter. El, it must be that it's asir. So question again, how could you say this is the pshat to answer the apparent contradiction that Tosef Shemitah is Allah Hamash Sinai or Rebbe Kiva a Pasuk? This teretz doesn't, doesn't hold water. It doesn't, excuse the pun, it doesn't work. It, it, it doesn't work. Why? Because you don't need a Pasuk to Asa. Once you tell me the Allah Hamatis, you know it may let's Asa. Ella, back to the barn, another possibility to answer the stira. Hilchasel Rebbe Yishmael. You know who needs the Allah Rebbe Yishmael. Because Rabbi Yishmael learns the Pasuk of Chorosh Rekatzer, it's speaking about Shabbos. He has no Mekar whatsoever to teach me you cannot go ahead and, and, and plow Erev Shemitah. He has no such animal. He, has, he doesn't have it. He has a Pasuk that describes Shabbos, that when it comes to Ketzir, Chit, and the Oimer, you can cut it. Where does he know that you can't plow? He knows that from Lachal Mashmi Sinai. And Kroy is Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Kiva did not have that Allah Mashmi Sinai. He only had the Pasik. He only had the Pasik. I, if you didn't have the Allah Mashmi Sinai, where does he know S and the is from? Because it'll be a Svara. Just like we know that a Dover or Abud in the in the Cholamoid is permitted if it's going to go ahead and get ruined. So too in the Shemitah year, if it's not to improve the, the crown for the next year, it's simply to save the existing young trees, it will be a Svara that you'll be able to do it. So therefore, we have. We have a good teretz right now. We have a teretz to the stira. The Allah must be seen. I was stated like Rabbi Yishmael, because he doesn't have a pasik for plowing in before Shemitah. I, Rabbi Akiva, who does have a pasik plowing for the Shemitah, what, what, what does he does? So why does he use that Allah must be seen for? He doesn't have such a Allah must be seen. He never had it. He had never had a mislayer on it. That would be one teretz. Rabbi Yechonamar, Rabbi Yechonamar says, Rabbi Gamliel, no, another teretz. Rabbi Gamliel, based Dino, made the rice of Batlahu. Rabbi Gamliel and his best, they were Mavatl the Raisa. In other words, they were Mavatl the Lachom Hashmi Sinai. You have a Kasha, you have a Kasha, you have a Pusik, you have a Lachom Hashmi Sinai. They had a Gazer Shava, that Gazer Shava was Mavatl the Lachom Hashmi Sinai, which seems to be bizarre, which the Gemara will love in a second. A Gazer Shava, fellas, is you have extra words, and we know you have, there was a Messiah on those extra words passed down from generation to generation, as opposed to a Kavach Oimer, which any one of us could go ahead and make up. Because they were you'd have to have a Masoira, a tradition passed down from your Rebbe. So now, my timer, where's your tradition passed down from your Rebbe? He has 
The Gzeva Shava, it says Shabbos by Shabbos Bereshis. It says Shabbos by what? By Shemitah. So Shabbos Shabbos, somebody saw yesterday the Pasuk. Malahalan, just by Shabbos Bereshis, meaning a regular Shabbos. He has Surah. Shabbos, what we call Saturday, is Asr. But Sunday and Friday are Muta. Lefanecha, Friday. Lachre, Sunday are Muta. Afkan, Soto, the seventh year, he has Surah. The seventh year is Asa. Lefanecha, the sixth year. Ulachre, and the eighth year, Mutarim. So therefore, the halacha mash misinai, which says that you can't plow in the in the seventh year, is a moot point. Why? And in, in the sixth year is a moot point. Why? Because we have a pasuk to go ahead and overcome it. Maskala Rabashi, Manda Amai Hilchasa, the one who says it's halacha mash misinai, Rabbi Shmuel, Asi gzeres shav and akra hilchasa. Is it possible that a gzeres shav can come along and be oikra tradition from Moshe? Umanda Makra and late Rabbi Akiva, Asi gzeres shav and akra kra. Can Xavier Shava come go ahead and, and uproot a Pusik? In other words, that doesn't make any sense. So Rabbi Yechon and your terrence doesn't, doesn't wash. Alam Ravashi, Rabbi Gamil Bezdino is Savik like Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Shim Rabbi Gamil is Bezdino who went ahead and said, Toisef is Shmit is Asa. They hold like Rabbi Shmuel that that Pusik, that, that, that Pusik goes to teach me, the Chorish of Kutzer is teaching me the Allah of Kitsir Oimer. And the Amar Hilchas of Gemirullah. The chi gemiri hilchasa b'sman shabes hamigdash kaim. So therefore, where, if you use the pasuk b'charish of a katzir to teach me hilchas shabbos that katzir oim is muta, where they know teif sefesh mita? They know that from <clears> the <throat> alachem ashmi sinai. Question: If they know that from the alachem ashmi sinai, how can Rabbi Gamliel o- override it? Says the Gemara. Dumi dini sechamayin. The chi gemiri hilchasa b'sman shabes hamigdash kaim. Dumi dini sechamayin. Amal zman shabes hamigdash kaim lo. If you look back. We said this in, in other Masechtas, in Masechta Erevin, there are certain halachas mesinais that are linked together. Uh, we said chatzitzis, mechitzis, are all, they were linked together. The halachas of shiurim, chatzitzis, and mechitzis were linked together. <coughs> we have a link of, of esenetiois, we have a link, uh, and nisachamayim and arava, they're linked together. Now we know nisachamayim, <coughs> the libation of the water on the on the on the Mizbeach, during the seven days of of Sukkot, so clearly is only during the time there was a base of Migdash. So we have Ashi's Mechadesh that this din of Tosef Shemitah is also the din of Arava is only during that period of time. Mashen came where what? Well, you don't have the period of time. If you don't have the period of time, then it would not, it, you would not have that halacha. So that when he answered up how how Rav Gamliel's Bezdin. They, came, they weren't, they didn't uproot Halach HaMesh B'Sinai. Halach HaMesh B'Sinai was only in vogue during the Beis HaMikdash. So they came along and were talking that even though the Beis HaMikdash is not there, still there's a din of Tesef HaShemit, the 30 days before Rosh Hashanah, one would not be able to plow. Not because of Halach HaMesh B'Sinai, because that's bottle, because, because there's no Beis HaMikdash. Rabbi Gamliel left, lived after the Churban Bayis, they restored the Halach HaMesh B'Sinai, at least the implication of law of the Halach HaMesh B'Sinai of 30 days before. Okay, that's the end of that sugi. <clears throat> okay, going back to the Mishnah, let's go back to the Mishnah for a second. Go back to the Mishnah for a second. Mashkin beis hashlochen b'moyed. We said one could irrigate a beis hashlochen, which is a field that requires irrigation, and if you wouldn't do it, it will be a davar avod. We're going to learn, today we're going to do three of them, there are five malachis that you're permitted to do in Chalamayid. The three today are Dava Ovid, which we, we, we discussed. We're going to speak about Tzorich Hamayid, that it's something that you need for the Mayid that you could do. And Tzorich Rabim, that's something for the Rabim you could do. There are others, there's Tzorich Mitzvah, there's for Poyal, the works. Bez Hashem will see them when we, as we go along. But right now, the Mishnah only just said for a Dava Ovid, like a Beis HaShlochen, one would be able to go ahead and and, and uh, irrigate, provided what? It's not a tirchi yaseir. It's not much trouble. A little tirchi, yes, not tirchi yaseir. That was the Allah we saw. The second Allah we said that what? Is, The Mishnah states, one could not go ahead and irrigate a field, even a field that requires irrigation, that's a davar avud, you won't be able to use mega shamim, nor water from a well. Now, mega shamim, ostensibly, all you're doing is uh, making a trench and letting the water from that trench 
go into the field. So the and so it's not like a well where you have to take a bucket and go into the well and then and then throw the water on the field. That would be Terchi Seira. So the Gemara is going to have a problem. You're linking Mega Shaman and Meg Kilan together. Apparently, Mega Shaman would be much easier. So Lechayre, if there's not a big Tircha, why would it not be, be permitted by a Dava Avud? That's the Gemara's Kasha. So we're going ahead discussing now Mega Shaman and Meg Kilan, the, the act of irrigating using water sources. Whether the water source is, a, if it's not, if the field's a Dava Avud, and it's not a tircha, why should I be able to do it? So let's, let's get it, let's enter that discussion. Says the Gemara, on Dalit Amit Alam. Avaloi me make a shaman, we'll make healer. Make a shaman again, guys, you're using a, a, a water that's gathered by rain, and you're not using a kli. You're using a, you're digging a, a, a canal, and it doesn't need to be trouble, versus make healing, which is, which is more problematic. Now, Bishlema make healing, very good. I can understand why you can't go ahead and use a well to go ahead and irrigate a field that requires irrigation. And like a base hashlochin, the a lot of work is not permitted. Ella megashamim, my tircha ika megashamim. What is wrong with megashamim? There's no, it doesn't seem to be much tircha over there. One should be able to go ahead by a dover or over, like a base hashlochin, you should be able to go ahead and irrigate the field. So I'm Rabbi Loy, I'm Rabbi Yechanan, Gezeru make a shum not to make healing. You're right. The really make a shum in itself is not a problem. It's not a problem in itself. You know what the problem is? If we let you go ahead and use rainwater, you may come to go ahead and use well water, which is a problem. So we're, we're going to something that's not a problem or to something that is problematic. So mega shamim in itself is not a problem. But since you, if you use mega shamim, you may come to use mekilon, which is what? A well, which is a tirchi yaseiru, to use a bucket, therefore you can't use mekilon. That's the opinion of Rabbi Yochanan. Rav Ashi Yomar, Rav Ashi disagrees. Rav Ashi Yomar, Rav Ashi says, mega shamim gufayu lidei mekilon asa. Mega shamim itself, mega shamim itself may come to mekilon. Meaning, as you trench the water from the mega shamim, at one point, the level of water gets so low, you may come to go ahead and take a bucket and use it. The bucket is the Tirchi Yaseira of Mekilon. So, says Ravashi, it's not a Gezeira, one or to the other. In, 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 in itself, in, in, in itself would be Usr. It's not, it's not a Gezeira, one or to the other. It's not a Gezeira. I'm not, it's not that I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because of itself. You may come to go ahead and use a bucket when the megashamim, the level gets so low, the trench won't be able to go ahead and cause the water to enter into your base uh, 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 So in the Mela, that's Ravashi. Says Ravashi, you're, you're worried about using a bucket and therefore you can't use it. The trench was built before, before Yantif? Or are you Excuse doing me? the trench on Yantif? What? The trench. When did you build that trench? It was before. It was, again, it was no, you have to say it was no, no big, when the Gemara asked it, again, I don't, I'm not so aware of the exact mitzvah of it. From the Gemara's kasha, you see that it didn't require a bucket. Or else then it's the same thing as Mekilon, right? So I have yeah, to be right. sure that it's, it's a different thing. Okay, so now, who commits to be the Reb Zeira? There are arguing in Reb Zeira. The Reb Yoichlan who says, Geyser one or to the other. And Ravashu says that in itself is asa. They're all the chayra. They're arguing what in Reb Zayir's din. Now, what did Reb Zayir din? Reb Zayir Amar Rabba Bar Yirmiya, Amar Shmuel. The chayrois, you have streams. Hamoishkin mayim min haagamim. Now, agamim is basically a swamp. So basically, it's make a shomim. It's water that comes down, but it's a a lot of water. It's a lot of water. And this water is going into streams and going into fields. So, Rav Zeira says, You would be permitted to go ahead, what? And, and do it. You would be permitted to do it. Mar Ravashi Islay the Rav Zeira. He holds like Rav Zeira. He holds that Megashomim, there's only Isra Megashomim, which may come to go ahead and use a bucket. So the agamim, even though it's megashamim, since as we're going to see, there's so much water, you'll never be able to, to use, you'll never come to use a bucket. 
you'll never come to Tirchi Yisera, it's permitted. Because the, I'm, it's not a, a, I'm not going to one or to the other. Independently, it's us, sir, because I, I may come to use a bucket. So we can infer if you'd never come to use a bucket, like in the case of the swamp, because there's so much water, you won't come to use a bucket, it's permitted. So if Ashi holds like Reb Zeyra, where Umar less laid Reb Zeyra, whereas Reb Yechanan who says, Megishomim is not itself Usr, but it's Usr because of well water, there'll be no difference between any Megishomim, regardless of its source, whether it's Megishomim in a small ditch, or it's Megishomim in a swamp, which has a lot of water, you still have to worry, if I let you use this, you may come to use a well. So Reb, Ze- Reb Yechman, who's geyser, one or the other, would not hold Reb Zeyr's Megashomim of a swamp. Ah. Kufa, we learned, again, let's analyze it on itself. I'm Reb Zeyr, I'm a rabbi, I'm a shmuel, agamim, streams that draw their water from a swamp. Mutu lahashkes mehem b'chol shalmoi. Eisav Reb Yechman, Reb Zeyr, avaloi me megashomim of lenem mekilon. I, I, our Mishnah says you can't use rainwater. And from Zeru, you're in Amayra. You can't argue on a Mishnah. So how could you use the water from a swamp? The swamp is, is, is rainwater. And for the Gemara, Amalei says, Reb Zeru, hear me, Abri, hear me, my son. Hani Agamim de Bavel, the, the swamps of Bavel, Kimaya deloy paski dummy. Since there's so much water, it's considered like a ma'ayan. A, a, a it's, it's water that's constantly flowing. So the the problem of rainwater does not exist. The problem of rainwater that you may come to go ahead and tirch yisera because of the um, vast amount of water of a swamp in Bavel, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so now basically we're holding good. We said in our Mishnah, Dover of it, tirch yisera is not permitted. May Geshomim may, may, may involve tirch yisera if it goes down. We're saying if it's never a concern of Tirchi Yisera, Megis Shaman would be permitted, like Ravashi. Tan Rabbanon. Hafseikos v'abreichos, these are different ditches or, or pools of water. Shinesmalo ma'im erev yontif, asa lahashkos mehem b'chel shamoid. You won't be able to go ahead and use them b'chel shamoid. Again, you're worried about coming to use a bucket. However, m'chaisa ames ha'mayim oivrim b'neihem, if you would have an Amas Hamayim, which is a, 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 a canal that has a din of a Mayon, that has din of a Mayon, and then Muta. In other words, if there's a Mayon going between them, even though they filled up the Erev Yontif, regardless, we're not worried about you coming to, to go ahead and use a bucket because there'll always be water there. Amra Papa, where Papa gives an adjoinder to that, that's provided the majority of the field is using the the canal, the Mayon, as its main source of water. But if they're not, then you will not be permitted to use the, the, the pools that filled up. That's where Pup is then. Ravashi disagrees. Ravashi Yomar, even if the majority of the field is not got from the Amas Mayim, nonetheless, and in other words, the majority of the water now will be coming from the ditches, the brechas that fill up, even the Kamashcha, the Asi, since it's constantly flowing, a person says to himself, if I don't go ahead and do it today, I'll do it later. Like, what are you worried about, guys? What are you worried about? Here you have this, this water. These ditches are being filled up. So we worry that, that this main flow of water will not, in one, in the meat of the, the, only a minority of field uses the Amasamayim, but the majority of field is not. So we're worried you're going to come to go ahead, Juan, and and go ahead and, and, and use the water. Since you know there'll be more water coming, you're not apt to go ahead Rod, and, and go work harder. Because you, what do you say simply? So if not today, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day. Why? Because I know the Amasamayim, the source of water is there. When are you worried about going ahead and the Mega Shonim and taking a bucket and using it when you're not reassured that to be water? So therefore, you know, if not now, so I have to do it. I have to take the water. But where you know there's going to be a source of water because the Amas Hamayim is there and the Amas Hamayim is a source of water, then there's no concern. So Seravashi, regardless if there is, a, if the mirror of the field uses it or the majority of the field uses it, it's irrelevant. As long as there's a source of water that's constantly going to be there, I won't come to the Tirchi Yisera of, of the bucket and therefore it's not a problem of a Dover or of it on Chalamoy. Tan Rabbanon. Brecha Mayim Misada Misada Besashlochen Zu, Mutu Lahashkes Menu Soda Besashlochen Acheres. 
Okay, so let, let's see the case over, over here. Let's see, it's the, this, right before it gets wide, two lines up in Rashi. First white line of Rashi. You had a, a field irrigation. It was high. And you had a mayan that was going ahead and flowing into it. And, and on the other side of the field, so you had a base of in here and a base of in here. And you had a little pool of water. When the Beis HaShlochen that was on top got its water from the Mayan, so now, guys, picture this. Look at my hands. You have a Beis HaShlochen here and a Beis HaShlochen here, higher and lower. This Beis HaShlochen had a water source. The water source would go in and it would drip into a pool of water, a pool over here. And this pool over here now would go ahead what? And can I use this pool of water to go ahead on, on Yontif and for this field? That's the question at the end. So let's see it inside now. Turn Brecha, that's this pool of water that's in the middle of the two fields. Shenoifis Mayim, who drips water. Misada Beis Hashlochen Zu, from the upper Beis Hashlochen. It's mutter to irrigate the lower base hashlochen. Why? Because you're not worried that the guy's going to come to go ahead and use a bucket. You know why? Because of the mayan that's on top of the on the base hashlochen on top. You have a, it's a water source. It's the same thing as before. If a person knows there's a source of water that will be constant, we're not worried about him coming to do the tircha. That I, the water is going to stop. So I'm It's speaking where it's still dripping. So since it's still dripping, we're not worried. That's provided the mayon on top doesn't stop. If the mayon on top stops, even if there's a full body of water in the brecha, you won't be able to use the brecha because now again, using our svara, since the source is in constant, he may eventually come to go ahead and the tirchi yisayr of the bucket. So that's the yisayr. The side of me, of, of mega shaman is if it's a mitzvah that the, the mega shaman will be constant, either because it's a bavel, it's in an agam, and there's a big source of water, either because there's a mayan that's going to be there, a fountain that's going to be there constantly, then we're not worried. If there's an amasamayim, we're not worried. On the other hand, if that water source stops, then you'd have a problem that you're worried that you're going to go ahead and take a kli and shep and, and pour it in. Tanya, Shimon, Masha, Let's say you have two arugas in a field. You have two beds in a field. One's higher than the other. Let's say you have like this. You're in a field. A little, little bit. You have two arugas. You have water and over here. Don't take water from here and dump it in the upper one. That you can't do. Because that's already tercha. Let's say you have a field that's like this, and the water's in the lower one, don't take the water, even in the, which is in the same bed, don't take this one and throw it in the other one, even with one thing. Okay, so now, that, that is basically, we, we dealt, guys, with the Dover or Avod, and the, again, we're speaking about the, the Heterim on Chalamoid, the, the Mishnah begins with the Heter of the Beis HaShlochen, a buzzword for Beis HaShlochen was, it's a field that requires irrigation, and if you don't irrigate it, it will be go to waste. That's called a Dava Ovud. As long as it's not Tirchi Yisera, you could do it. And now we're going to introduce the concept of Tzorech Moed. Fellas, if something is necessary for the Moed, you're able to do Malacha, even if it's a Tircha. You hear this? The din of Tirchi Yisera, let's say for you to eat in Chala Moed, you could do Tirchi Yisera. That, is, that Malacha is Muta. That Malacha, again, our holy Yisera to the Mesechta. The Chachamim were in charge. Again, Machloikas, whether it's the rice of the Rabbanon, the avoda on yom kip on chalamoy. It's it's an it's machlokes mishainim. Whereas the rice is rabbanon. But even if it's the raisa, we said it was up to the chacham to decide the gedorim. So they decided the gather of davar of it as long as no terech yisera. Sarich moed. If it's something that you need for the moed, even if you're going to be extra exertion, it's going to be terech yisera. It still will be permitted, and that's going to be illustrated by the following case. Tan rabbanon. You could take water, put it in your vegetable patch, 
in order to eat them on, on Cholomoy. The Imbish will but if it's to make them grow more, not, you know, it's not Sorech HaMoyed, but it's, it's the Lahar Vacha that should go more, then Asr, then it would not be permitted. Right now, notice just as Medalin Yerokas, it doesn't mention water. It just says Medalin, Medalin means Dal, means to, to, to uh, pour, Medalin to pick up and pour. So now, so Ravina uh, Verabba Tuspa, that was his name, Habi Ko'osli Be'orch, they were going on the way, and it was Cholomoyed. Chazalu Gavra, they 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 viewed an individual to have a dolly davlo bechol demayit. He was taking dolly davlo, he was taking water, and he was pouring into a vegetable patch of cholam oyed. Amalei Rabba to spot Ravina said Rabba to spot Ravina lese mar leshamte go put him in cherem. In other words, if people don't listen to the words of the chachamim, they'd be excommunicated. They'd be put in nidoy. So lechayre, this person is not listening to the words of the chachamim. The fact that he's going ahead. And he is working Cholomoy, the Dava, it's Lecheret, he's, he's doing Terchi Yaseira. So Amalei, Rabbi said to, uh, excuse me, Ravina said to Rabbi Tespoi, Vatanya, Madlin Yerakas, Kedela Eichlan. And he clearly is going ahead and irrigating his vegetable patch for the purpose of eating the food on Cholomoy. So Amalei, so said Rabbi Tespoi to, 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 to Ravina, Misarvis, my Madlin, Madlin Maya. Why it just says Madlin Yerokais. Why do you think it means lifting up to pour water? My Amid base, my Madlin, what does lifting up mean? It means shlufi. It means to pick out the bad ones. Rashi says they would go ahead if you had a very dense crop that was together, in order to facilitate growth, you'd pick up certain ones. So there was never a heta for water. When it said Madlin, it meant you were able to pick up. The, in, among the dense growth, you'd be able to pick up the existing um, uh, vegetables, in this case, that would impede the growth of the other ones. But no one ever get ahead to, to, add, to, to go ahead and put water in the field. Therefore, we should put this guy in Cherem. Get it none. A Mishnah in Peah. Someone who's picking up grapes. Kishem Shu Meidol B'Shaloi. Just like he goes ahead and picks up the dense grapes in his own to facilitate growth. Kachu Meidol B'Shalaniyam. Let's say he has a, 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 a field of peya, the end of a field, which is a matana that goes to the aniyam, he'd be able to go ahead and uh, pick up the dense grapes there in order that the aniyam should have better growth, better grapes. He doesn't have a shal aniyam. Aniyam came more about quantity than quality. So just let it go. Bottom line is, what do you see Madeline means? It doesn't mean to go ahead and, and, and water, to pick up and, sh- and shep water. It means to pick up bad crops. So Amale, so Ravina said to Rav, 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 Rav Boy, Iva, Tanya, we have another brysa. And guys, listen to this brysa. There's one word there. Madlin Mayim Liyarakais. It says openly the word Mayim, water. One could go ahead and pour water for Yarakais. Kedela Eichlan. So what do you see? Tircha Yaseira, Le Oichlan Sora Chamoy, it is permitted. So Amalei, so Rabbi Tespoy said to Ravina, Itanya Tanya, if you have a Brysa, you have a Brysa, and that's it, and I'm asking. So we hear the Gemara is Machadish, a Yisoid in the Hilchas of Cholomoy, despite the fact that Tircha Yaseira is not permitted by a Dover or Ovid, when it comes to Sora Chamoy, Kedei Achila, even Tircha Yaseira, such as pouring water, would be permitted. Guys, how are we doing? We good? We're all good, yes? Yes, no, maybe? Can you see these is Saitis Khalamaid? The guys, you say this Khalamaid. There's five things. We just learned two of them. Now we're gonna see at the end of the block, we're gonna see a third Sarak Rabin. And as we go on, we'll elaborate upon these. Okay. Now the next, let's go back to the Mishnah. The Mishnah said, so we said you 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 can't go ahead and rain water. And we said rain water is provided that it's gonna end, and right? Then it said. You can't make ugyoyis ligafanim. What does that mean? What does what ugyoyis ligafanim mean? So now the Gemara describes. My ugyoyis, what are, what are ugyoyis? Amr Rabbi Yehuda, bin K. Rashi, bin K, four lines down. Boy royis tachas ligafanim. They would dig little ditches underneath the vines, the zesim and the, and the olives. The noisim and the hemayim, they put water underneath them. So now, clearly, this is to make it grow better. 
So that you would not be able to do on Cholomoyed. Tanya nam yohachi, elu hein ugyoyos, right, what are ugyoyos? Bedidin are ditches, shev ikre zesim, by the roots of the zesim, we shev ikre gefana, by the roots of the, of the, of the vines. Fred, the way inis are really so, that you can't dig ditches, for Rav Huna, shari lebei, bar tzisoi, Rav Yehuda permitted the people, bar tzisoi, lenevad binki lekam mehem, to go ahead and make these ditches for the kramim. So how can you tell me you can't? Says when we're it's not a problem. One was new, one was old. If it was a new vineyard, then it would be usher, usher to dig. However, batiki, if it was an existing vineyard, then basically it would be permitted, because again, what you're really doing is you're filling in, you're unclogging the existing ones. In other words, when you're digging, it's not shot that you're creating a new one. You're going ahead and un- undigging one that was there before. That's not a tirchi yisera. Where it's creating one, then it will not be permitted. To create a ugyo, you can't. To unclog an old, old one, you could. So that's how b'chadati, it's also, by new it's also, how bad it's also. The next thing in the Mishnah was, Rebbe Lezeb and Zayoyme, you're not allowed to make an amma. Now guys, it's, it's kishmo ken hu. An amma means sixth fachim. An amma is sixth fachim from here to here, it is, is an amma, right? Sixth fachim. So their irrigation distances were six amas wide and six amas deep. We care about the depth over here. Six amas deep. You're not allowed to go ahead and make an ama on to irrigate your field, whether it's your chalamoid or the shemitah year. When it's not permitted to do that. Bishleim amoyed, very good in the moyed. They're not allowed to dig it mishum the katarich because it's a tircha. El shvius my timer. Now guys, by shvius there's no din of what of of tircha. It's only a question whether you're bettering the field or not. So what's the reason you cannot go ahead? And dig, you're not digging in the field, you're digging at the edge of the field. You're digging in an irrigation canal at the edge of the field. How's that improving the field? So the Gemara wants to know, in fact, why Rebbe ben Isaiah does not permit but to dig an ama around the field in the Shemitah year. So Pligi bar Rav Zeri, Rav Abba bar Mamel, we have Machloikas between Rav Zeri and Rav Abba bar Mamel. Chanam of Neshenirik Oider. Now, the Oider, what we call hoeing, you know, you know we, we know what a hoe looks like, but we don't know what that is. It means they would go ahead and dig in the ground to soften the ground. When the ground is softer, it's more prone for growth. So therefore, when you go ahead and dig an ama, it's nearer. It's like Maris Ayin. It appears if you're doing this for Eider, which would be also to do during Shemitah, because that's, that's enhancing the ground. Says, what, says one of them, we didn't know it was a Rav Zeira or Rav Adabar Mama, who said what? But one of them said that the act of digging an ama is tantamount to going ahead and 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 looking like you're you're hoeing, you're doing oider, or so, which is also the charama of nation machshir ag lizria. You're being machsha the bank lizria. What happens when you dig a canal? You're putting schmutz. You're taking the dirt and you're putting on the edge of the canal. So you have like a bank of of, of dirt. That bank of dirt now is great to plant in, guys. It's 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 not it's not virgin earth, right? It's earth that has been what has been displaced. It's soft, and you can plant. So one says it appears if you're hoeing. The other one says no. By digging this canal, it, it, now you've created an area for fertile ground to be planted. My binayu, what would this difference between the two reasons be? It can be nayu the koasi maya basre. Let's say when you dug the canal, water flowed through the canal. Now, once water is there, clearly that has nothing to do with either with hoeing. It doesn't look like you're hoeing. Conversely, even though there's water there. Once you created the bank around it, it still appears if you can plant that bank of, of, of water, of uh, sand. The one who says you're worried about that you prepared a bank of, of, of earth for planting, you'd still have that problem despite the fact there's water in the canal. You're not worried because it doesn't appear, there's water in the canal, it doesn't appear like you're hoeing. Why isn't he worried about that? Good. It doesn't look like hoeing, but the bottom line is, for all intents and purposes, you just created an area that you could plant by digging out the canal. You took the dirt and you threw it away. You took the dirt and threw it away. So now, there's no bank. There's no bank there to plant. It looks like either. Right, so, that's very good. It says, well, let's say that it appears like what you're hoeing. 
says, No, when you're hoeing, you don't throw it away, you leave it in its place. So this is a, a valid nafkamina between the two. If you go ahead, dig a canal, throw it away, says right? Then it it, uh, it appears that you'd have to worry, you'd have to worry about uh worry about oider. Right? Uh, you wouldn't have to worry about oider because you leave it in the place. No, no, who says that you create a bank, you you uh, threw away the bank. It appears like oider, it appears like you're 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 you oider. The Gemara says, and the man the Omar who says, Oh, why isn't he worried about that? The Gemara says, Kiko Shako Bidukhte Monachle. He usually go ahead when you, Oh, the Nami Kiko Shako Bidukhte Monachle. So, in other words, this is not a valid enough Kamina. This is not a valid enough Kamina because if you're worried about Oh, there, you're not, why would you go ahead and be throwing it away? Oh, there, you leave it in its place. But the fact you throw it away, you have neither reason. You don't have Agpe Bizarre because you don't have a bank. And you don't have Oh, there because Oh, there, you leave the, leave the dirt in the place and you didn't leave the dirt in its place. He learned like one of the opinions that it appears if you're hoeing. The Again, says in the Mishnah, you can't go ahead and dig a canal because it appears if you're hoeing. Now I'm going to show you would, would, would permit it. And now you have a sneer in the words, a contradiction in the words of Elizabeth Nazaria. Would anyone say with Elizabeth Nazaria says when it's near a kaider, it's aser? Or I mean, that's your stira. You can make, let's say you have a field, you take fertilizer and you dump it in your field. And even though fertilizer and shemitah is not permitted to fertilize your field, if it appears that I'm storing the fertilizer, it will be okay. So one be able to do this. It's not enough to dump the fertilizer in one spot. You'd have to dig a ditch. If you dig a ditch three tefachim and then dump the fertilizer in, it's clearly showing that you're not doing it for the purpose of what of, of fertilizing the field. You're doing it for the purpose of storing fertilizer. Or you go ahead and heap it up gimel tefachim high. Let's say you have less than three tefachim, a little less than zevel. Then most of love you can go ahead and eat v'haylach. He would answer it even, even when you have a little bit. In other words, he doesn't allow this. If you have less than three tfachim of zevel, you have no eights according to Rabbi Lezim and Azariah putting in the field. The bottom line is he lets you go ahead and dig in the field to put the zevel in. Kasha, guys, if he's worried about digging an Amas Amayim, because it appears if you're making it to hold the field, why, when he's doing it for fertilizer, why isn't he worried that it appears if you're going ahead and, and hoeing the field? Once again, once you're digging, you can't, Rosamund Azai says you can't dig an ama because it appears if you're hoeing. So Lechairu also, if you're digging an, if you're digging for fertilizer, it also should appear if you're hoeing. So you have a stira in the Bay. Rav Zayra, so M for the Gemara, I stopped short. You put it on a rock. Bottom line, the kasha is here, he permitted you to hoe, but by ama he did not permit you to hoe. That one says that what that he was dug already. It was already dug, and therefore, since it was already dug, you didn't do anything. You just dumped it in the hole. No, you dug it now. I watch your kasha. It appears if you're hoeing. If you're hoeing, you're not dumping zevel in the hole, right? Hoeing is to improve the ground by dumping the fertilizer in the hole. You're showing it's not for the purpose of hoeing of either, and therefore, Rabbi Lezman and I would permit it. In a Mishnah by Amal, he would not permit it because you don't have any haychacha, you don't have any proof to anything else except that it appears if you're hoeing. Mashenkin over here by Zevel, when you dump it in, the fact that you have a hole for the fertilizer shows that hole was not for the purpose of improving the trees. Mishnah said, Umasaknan es hamukukolis b'mayed. You can go ahead and masaknan, you can masaknan the Amal that's mukuk on the mayed. So the, the, the lead in for the Mishnah was, you can't, you can't dig an ama, but if you have an existing canal, guys, what does that mean? You have a canal that's six tfachim deep. That's very important, guys. The canal is six tfachim deep. If it's mekulkul, you can fix it. Yeah, here's the shy of the hand. What does mekulkul mean? That you're losing the depth because it's filling up with silt and dirt. You're losing that. So the Gemara says, my mekulkul, what exactly is going on over here? So Omar Abba, let's keep the ratio, guys, of six to one. Six to one, right? That that's the ratio is of it's it's deep six. Amrababa, 
Shem hoisa amuka tefach. If now it's only a tefach deep because it got five got filled up, ma'amida al shisha tefachim, you can put it back to six tefachim. So mekukeles, what happened? It initially was an ama that was six tefachim deep. Over time, it got filled in that it's only one tefach deep. One would be permitted to restore its initial state, which was six tefachim. Pshita, however, pshita chazi tevach al shloisha tefachim, a ratio of six to one. What about a half a tefach to three? Initially it was three. Now it's a half a tefach. Can I dig down two and a half tefachim to restore the three? Says the Gemara, kivin dloy over maya lav klumu. Since water can't pass through three tefachim deep, you're not doing anything. Therefore, we would not permit it. <clears throat> Even though the ratio mathematically works out. Since initially it wasn't ready to be a canal, since it was only three tefachim deep, one would not be permitted. That would be a tircha shaloy litzayrach. What about the following? Now, tufchayim al shneim asa. Once upon a time you had a, it was two amis deep. It was 12 tefachim deep. And now it filled up 10 and it's only two tefachim deep. Could I go ahead now? Again, that's the exact same ratio. Six to one, two to 12. It's the same ratio. So says the Gemara, Everyone, the Katarak Tirchi is Seira, Loi. Right now, can you go ahead and do that? You can't do that. So, half to three, you can't do. Even though this is 12, that would be Tirchi Seira, because you only have to go to six. In other words, even though this was a, a Gazunta Geshmaka one, because it was Tutfachim, you'd only be able to dig up to six. You won't be able to dig 10. You know, you're at two, you couldn't be able to go to 10. So, those are the two givens. Half to three, no. Two to 12, no. What about the following? It was seven. It was seven. Tavchayim al shiva mahu. It was seven. That was one more than you needed. And now it filled up to two. What's the din? Guys, one to six, can you do? Let's get the bobblehead. One to six, you can do? Yeah. One to six is five. So maybe two to seven. Even though seven is one more than I need, I, I can do it because it's five. A Dilma, or maybe no, maybe Kiman the Ika Tefak Yisera, you have that extra Tefak from six to seven. Ika Tirchetve. The Gemara says, Teku, Tishbi, Yitaritz, Kushu Zabayas. We have to wait for Eliyoh and Nabi to come and answer up our questions. Tishbi, Eliyoh, Tishbi, Yitaritz, Kushu Zabayas. Guys, good? Okay, let's finish up. Nice, nice, nice Gemara, easy Gemara. Abayas Shari Libne Bar. Now, this is, guys, here we're going to hear the heter of Sarech Rabbim. Remember, Tirchi Yaseir, Bimokan, Sarech Mayid permitted. Sarech Rabbim also permitted. Here's the examples of Sarech Rabbim. Abaya Shari Libene Bar Hamrech, he permitted a piece of Hamrech, Le Hamdech, Le Shufei Nahara, to go ahead and remove roots of the river, even though it's a Tircha, but the Rabbim needed that river. Rabbi Yirmi Yashari Libene Sukhusa, Le Michra Nara, Tamima, to go ahead and unclog, unplug the source of the river. Ravashi Shariul Ibn Masi Machasya, that was the name of the place, Lakduche Nahar to go ahead and remove obstacles from the river, the river Nahar Burnitz, the river Burnitz. Amar, what's the the heter and all these things? Kim the Shosumi Ne Rabim, since Rabim deal from this water, Kirabim Dami, the Tanan, and we learned in our Mishnah, Aisa called Sakhe Rabim. Again, when we go through our Mishnah, guys, look at the Mishnah. Two lines from where it says Gemara, it says, rabim, you'll be able to do all the tzarchim of a rabim. So since the rabim needed this, so again, a dover of something that's going to be lost, like a base shlochin. The only heter you have is as long as not tirchi yaseira. Tirchi, yes, tirchi yaseira, not. Dover rabim, a dover mayid, if you're going to get a vegetable patch and it's a big tirchi to put a water in, if it's for the purpose of eating it for the mayid, that would also be permitted. If it's for after the mayid, not. So Rabin, that the Rabin needs something, I feel the Tirchi Yaseira on the Moyed would be permitted. Have a great day. Have a great, enjoy. Thank you for listening.